You cannot go into 2023 without a word. You must hear something and you must lambano something. Your victory in 2023 is not human connection. 2023 is a political year. You will see a lot of betrayers. Dollars will change hands. Naira will change hands. Politicians will cross carpet. People will go to ritualists. There will be a lot of accidents. There will be a lot of evil plans to take innocent lives. You need a word, my brother. Sons will betray fathers. Fathers will betray children because of the nature of that year. And so it will be important for everyone to find insurance in the everlasting word of God. A word must be sent to you every month. You must catch a word every day you go out of your, of your room because no day will be the same. If you don't have a word, you are a victim. This is why this message is coming to you now and it's coming early. That before you go, make sure a word is with you. That word will be your defense. In Matthew chapter 8, from verse 8, here's what the Bible said. Jesus was to go to the house of a centurion to heal the daughter. And the man knew the power of the ministry of the sent word. And he said, Lord, I'm not fit for you to come to my house. He said, send the word only. Speak the word only. That means only the sent word is enough to deliver to you what you are looking for i know there is a crisis with your business you need a word i know there is a crisis in your neighborhood you need a word human assurance will not suffice in 2023 the only thing that will suffice you is the word of god that you have caught and so make sure you carry with you words you will need a lot you will need a lot of words in 2023 for your business for your safety, for your family, everything you are vitally involved in. Make sure there is a word. Because 2023 and the years to come will try everything you are holding on to. It will test your conviction. It will try your faith. It will challenge everything you stand for. The only way you will go through is when there is a word that you stand upon that will not shake you. Isaiah chapter 9 verse 8. He sent his word to Jacob. He lightened upon Israel. God's technology of preserving his people is to send words to them. I know you walk through 2022. 2023 is not a year you want to enter on the basis of luck and chance. If I asked you now, what is the word you are standing on for your safety? Is there a word? If I asked you now, what is the word you are standing on for your family, for your marital breakthrough? For your business, is there a word you cannot afford to go any further? Hoping on luck and chance. Make sure you carry a word so that when the devil comes, you will check your quiver and br bring out what God said. I was in a Babin saloon when the word of the Lord came to me concerning what we are doing here. See, this is why we speak audaciously. We are not talking because anybody promised anything. Neither are we talking because we are arrogant. We are talking because we are sure that what God said he will bring to pass. He said, I will watch my word and I will hasten it to perform it. Because God's integrity is credited to his word. When God speaks, God comes under pressure to perform. But if God did not speak or has not spoken, then there is a challenge. I sat down to cut my hair. Suddenly, looking at the screen that was supposed to show me the image of a clean haircut, I saw a billboard and written on it was Encounter Jesus. Wow. Written on it was Abuja. Wow. I saw the color. It was yellowish. That was why I told them, make sure the first logo is yellow. That is what I saw. I'm not coming here to be creative. Every creative person will be defeated by spirits. I'm coming here because I saw and heard. And when we entered the town, there was no money. Me and my wife were, were lodging in an Airbnb apartment. Meanwhile, we came into the city. We were there following what God said. It was from following what God said that what God said led us to the people he planted waiting. 
A friend was supposed to do a prayer retreat and he pleaded with me to follow him. So we entered the office of the pastor, whom's church we were going to use. When he saw me, he stood up. Meanwhile, we're coming to tell him, please, my friend wants to use here for retreat, if you will allow us. He said, sir, I have followed you for two years. I've called everybody I know to get your number. Nobody can get it. How did you come here? I smiled. The reason we're in this hall is that pastor. He was the one who got this hall. He was the one who negotiated. He was the one who did everything. Did all the talking before we came here. But because the word went forth. We were just following the word. The word took us to who we needed to meet. The word created the money we needed. The word created the influence we needed. And so everything was from the place of rest. Three weeks to inauguration. No dime. You go to a hall. They say one million per use. What do you mean? I'm coming from Makodi. We pay one million per year. <laughs> Where I'm coming from? They pay one million per year. And you are saying one million per use. What is happening here? I went back. I had to doctor my feet. I now realize territories have their own impact. One million per year. How much do we get equipment? I caught somebody. How much are equipment? He said, well, line array speakers and subwoofers only with mixer. He said, Beringa wing mixer, 48 impute. I said, how much is mixer? They went and checked. One is 3 million. Ah, uh -uh. Mixer? I said, no. Where I come from, they use a huja microphone too. <laughs> what do you mean? One mixer, 3 million. And before I finished talking, he said, well, we need three. Ah! What do you need three mixers for? Are we mixing for the whole of Abuja? He said, no. The stage needs its own mixer. The hall needs its own mixer. And the online audience needs their own mixer. So mixer alone is nine million. <laughs> when I said microphone, they said QLXD. The choirs will use QLXD. You will use what what? How much is it? The QLSD mic one is 450,000. The one I'm supposed to use, this one, is 700,000. Ah, one microphone. We hire equipment, the whole equipment, for 250,000. I want to. <laughs> when my faith couldn't carry it, I went back to prayer. I knew I needed to labor in the place of prayer. We started laboring. Meanwhile, God had told me already. To give all the money I came to town with as seed. Even where we were staying, a friend had to pay for some time. I gave everything for seed. Now everything they are telling me is in millions. What do we do? Two days to the inauguration. I'll be a day to the inauguration. A friend called me. I said, a mighty woman of God was said she, she wants you by all means on Sunday. There's a message she heard you preach. She wants you to preach the same message in her church. I say, I can't preach one message twice. It comes by inspiration. He says, she wants that message. I say, no, Sunday is my inauguration. When she now called her name, I say, okay, ah, she's a mother. Ha! If it's a young minister, I wouldn't have gone. But since this one is a, a mother in the faith, maybe if I go, she will pray for me. And out of honor, let me go. I went there and preached. The moment I finished preaching, somebody tapped me from the back and gave me a check. I was blessed. It's one million. Uh -uh. So if you are blessed, you give one million. <laughs> I see. That means many people will have to be blessed. <laughs> if you are blessed and the response is not thank you, Father, only, and checks come out, then you will hear a lot of things. You will be blessed. When I finished, the resident pastor gave me two checks. One is his own. One is from church. Uh -uh. Before I stepped out, mama said, come, let's pray for you. He said, let's bless this man. He's starting today. I came out of the place with 14 million. I said, okay. All my savings were not up to 10 million. But he sent his war and healed them and delivered them from all their oppression. If you hear, it's enough. <laughs> what makes a man invincible is what he hears and what he sees. You see, as far as your eyes can see, I've given you. 
the guy was still standing, stranded. Only see and hear is enough. And so in 2023, if there's one thing you must do is to catch walls, catch them, catch them. Be a better goalkeeper, a better goalkeeper than the Argentina keeper. Catch every wall that comes to you. And when you catch it, keep it. Because you will need those walls as weapons of war. There are certain junctions you will go to. The only thing that will defend you are the walls you carry. And so when you come to different junctions, you remove different spares. Because every word serves a different purpose. 2023 is a year where you must carry words. Words. There is a word that will sustain you. There is a word that will make food be in the house. There is a word that will preserve you and your children. Because there will be many stray bullets. There will be many stray arrows. There will be many traps. But when words come, even if you walk through the trap, it will not hurt you. Because they say you shall tread upon serpents and scorpions. And they shall by no means hurt you. And so what saves you from the serpent is not to dodge the trap. It's to carry a word. When a word comes, when you walk on it, it will not hurt you. That's how men become invincible. You must catch words.